Okay, so I thought I'd do um <clears throat> sorry, I thought I'd do a quick demo of location based scanning on the Uniden thirty six hundred. Uh, as we know, all the great features it comes with recording, it does um, free digital modes, P25, NXDN, DMR, <clears throat> all the trunk and modes they offer, um, Capacity Plus, you know, all the others, um, XTP, there's, there's a few. But there's always one feature of an interest on this radio, but you can't really um, <clears throat> get it in the UK without having to buy a dongle that attaches to the side of the radio here. Luckily enough for me, um, I had a Uniden 325P2, great little radio. I imported it last year, but it's become surplus to the requirements now because I'm using the ICOM R30 a lot more on the HF. So, um, yeah, I've done a swap for someone else really, but it's another story. So, someone inboxed me when I put a request up for the swap and said they had a 3600 with a built-in GPS module. It's been put inside the actual casing so there's no wiring hanging on the top and I just wanted to do a quick demo of it really so that's scanning a location pretty close to me okay so if I turn off um, if I turn off location control in this favorite and then I let the radio scan again you can see it's pulling other areas in from around me because it's going through the whole list. Just avoid that rubbish. Um, so if I then enable the GPS back inside that particular favorite, if I put location control on, It now will only scan locations close to me. It works on the bubble principle. I'm still looking at it, but yeah. So that's scanning a location not too far from me. Um, this would be a really handy feature if you're driving up and down the country. Um, effectively, what it does is it will, <coughs> excuse me, it will enable systems when you become within a certain range of them. Um, when you're outside that range it will disable them and then back inside it will re-enable them so it's pretty much hands-free deal um, I don't know whether anyone else has had any experience with GPS based lo uh, location scanning I've done it on the um, BCT15 um, I bought a Garmin module for that um, to do that and it, it did work pretty well but looking that around in the car with me it ain't really top of the pops to be honest um, I have got other scanners, but they don't they don't sort of cover that. I've got a TRX2, TRX1, a trusted old Pro 106, great radio, um, plus a few others there. Uh, AOR A1000, some other little classics, um, one that's just fell down here. I've got a trusted old, I only bought that because it's got a descrambler on it for analog, um, 446, pretty good. But yeah, I just thought I'd um I'd share that video just to see if anyone else has had any dealings with using location based scanning on the Unidans. Uh, pretty cool feature. Um it, it it works a treat as far as I can see. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Um if you can buy a module for the radio, buy one. If you know someone that can fit the module, I'd say go for it. It's definitely worth it. Um it just makes your life a little bit easier. Uniden seems to be a little trick ahead there. Um, the ICOM has it, but it works very different. Um, the ICOM's got a lot of features on it, but I use that more for the HF. If you watch my videos, I do a lot of um, HF Milcom monitoring. So, <clears throat> listening to my local bit of men on DMR ain't really for me, but whatever tickles your fancy. But anyway, I just thought I'd, um, I'd post this quick video to just to show you this, um, this radio in action with GPS enabled. As you can see, the GPS icon's up. I've obviously got close call on. That's another great feature. Um, if any transmissions nearby to me, radio locks onto them and tunes straight into it. Um, it doesn't work with a DMR um, duplex, I think. Or... Yeah, it works with duplex. It doesn't work with simplex. So if you've got someone transmit from the hand station, it won't pick up that, that transmission. Um, but it will pick up the repeaters. So, yeah, it's it, it's okay. Um 
I prefer the TRX to that because the signal sweeper on it is, just, is awesome. The range is brilliant, <clears throat> and the TRX is in another league for sensitivity. But yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd um I'd share that video with you. Um, let me know what you think in the comments.